And we're back. Uh, if you don't know by now, I'm Jay, and this is OSL Season 4, Week 2. Uh, if you didn't watch last week's battle, and Team Builder for that matter, uh, I'll link it down in the description if I remember. Uh, if not, it's on the channel, and shameless plug, uh, like, subscribe, I guess, all that jazz that YouTubers tell you to do. But yeah, uh, Pokemon Draft League Week 2. Uh, from now on, I'm going to say what happened last week. But uh, we beat Mono in a very uphill battle, let's say. I faced some early setbacks, but we pulled it out. But yeah, um, this week is like it's not going to get easier from here. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, we're facing Morgan and her Blackthorn Bullet Club. I think Morgan's been part of the league all four seasons. She drafted some strong mons. Um, she had Dracovish Season 1. Uh, I think she had Urshifu Rapid Strike Season 3. So that's the dark fighting one. And even though she's drafted strong mons, I will say her results have been mixed. And I think she can attest to that herself. I think Season 1 she made playoffs. Season 3 she didn't. But season, and Season 2 I don't remember. So. Like, I think she did, but I might be wrong on that. Yeah, Morgan's a good battler good friend as well, so this shall be interesting. Uh, looking at our team, we have Mew, Coco, Pelipper, Snorlax, Bronzong, Galarian Weezing, Alolan Raichu, Scrafty, Floatzel, Masquerade, and Mega Swamper. So you'll notice two cores right away, um, Rain and Electric Terrain. So there's Coco, Alolan Raichu, and then Pelipper, Mega Swamper, but also Floatzel. Floatzel does that Swiss win. And I will say this right now, Floatzel is actually the mod I'm most afraid of this match, so it might become an issue, so we're definitely gonna see what happens. But um, going through the mods one by one, Mew is Mew, like, there's such a hassle to deal with. You can run, like, Suicide Lead, um, sorry, jeez, um, Hazard Remover, Setup, just Attacking, Roost, I don't know. What are those sets called? Like Utility or like Will-O-Wisp, you know, all that jazz. Can be annoying Mon. Um, Coco's Coco. I think Coco's one of the best mods to draft in Draft League just because Electric Fairy typing is pretty good offensively and I think it's not that bad, that, uh, not that bad defensively. And, you know, it gets Roost, Defog, U-Turn. Um, it has more physical attack than special attack, but it, it has better special attacking moves. Um, electric Terrain helps out something like Helps out other mods as well, and I think it's just a great glue, just to like keep momentum and have speed on your side. Uh, Pelipper, Rain Setter, but I actually can't, am kind of nervous about like a spec set, because I think that's a set you can run, so gotta work, watch out for that. Like Specs Hurricane might be an issue. Um, Snorlax, Snorlax is an interesting one, just because I originally thought that Snorlax was too overvalued at tier 2 when we were like evaluating, like tiering stuff, but. I don't know, it's still, it's still a threatening mod to face, just cause, um, Curse Lax is a thing, Banded Lax is a thing. There's a lot of mod things that can happen with Norlax, and it can just sit there and just kinda like, wear you down. And that's something I actually am a bit worried about. Um, Bronzong, I think Morgan's used Bronzong once or twice before, so definitely a familiar mod for her. Um, Steel, Psychic, you know, all that jazz. Uh, Glare and Weezing, mod that we've used personally, I say we, team, in Draft League, uh, Poison Fairy, three great abilities, and then Default. Uh, Alone and Raichu, uh, Mon also, I've also used, but on its own, and it, I don't think it's that great on its own, I think it's just like a bit too frail, even though it has like great, like, special attack, has great staff, has great coverage, but Morgan has Coco as well, and that speed might be an issue, because you can go for like Electro Ball, there's also Rising Voltage, which it's going to be scary if that, if, um, that comes, but I actually, I'm going to make a hard read here, and I'm going to say that she doesn't bring a low Raichu. I think it suffers some things that may make it more of a liability. Uh, Scrafty, another mod with, like, pretty good abilities, like, Intimidate's a good ability, Moxie's an interesting ability for it, and Shedskin's also an interesting ability for it. I mean, you can get, like, burned, but then you can also restore your burn without doing anything, like, a third of the time, so. Great mod, Fighting Dark type has, like, Dragon Dance, Sword Stance, I like the pants. <laughs> um, Floatzel, uh, when Morgan drafted Floatzel, I was like, wasn't sure why she did, but looking at the team now, it's just like, it's an issue because it's a much faster rain sweeper. 
Remember to Mega Swampert. Mega Swampert's like 70 or 80 base speed. Well, it's 115. So out of the gate, it's fast, but under rain, it's probably even faster. And it gets like liquidation, it gets hydro pump, it can run physical and special. It gets priority in Aqua Jet. Like, I'm actually very afraid of Lotus coming this week. Uh, Masquerine, um, webs mainly. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, intimidate, I guess. And then Mega Swampert's Mega Swampert. Like, right? the rain. Like, you draft it for rain. That's what Morgan's done. And I think she's drafted pretty well this time as well. So, if I were to guess what six months she brings, I'm going to say Mew, Coco, Pelipper, Bronzong, Lotso, Mega Swampert. I don't know if she'll bring both Swift Swim users, but I don't think it's a bad idea. But, our team. Um, I guess I'll show it right away. Uh, <laughs> context. Uh, context doesn't match, actually. Like, this is my second time recording this, but... Um, right now it's Saturday evening, and I originally told Morgan, like, at the start of the week, let's play Saturday evening, because, uh, like, I thought, I thought it'd be, like, pretty open and have a team by then, but I made my team, like, this afternoon, like, in, like, the past, not the past three hours, but, like, for, like, three hours, I team builded and, like, looked at stuff, just because, um, like, yesterday was mainly hectic, but, like, just the week has been hectic, and even tomorrow's gonna be a bit more hectic as well, so we need to, like, we, we've set a time, but it's, like, I'm gonna be busy. Like, first of all, like, yesterday was my birthday, so <laughs> happy belated, I guess. But, like, that was, like, I was just busy doing that, and the work was hectic, so it's just kind of, like, everything. And, like, I woke up, like, I slept late and everything, like, just meeting people, right? So, I just didn't have a lot of time to prep, so I just asked Morgan, hey, are you okay with doing uh, tomorrow for a battle? Because, uh, she doesn't know, but she probably assumes that I'm going to record this today. I don't know if she does. I don't know, I don't know if she's going to assume that, but... Yeah, um, so we're playing tomorrow, but yeah, thankful for, thank you to Morgan for giving me that time. Um, anyways, on to our team. Uh, because of rain, and because of the, <laughs> because of what happened last week, we gotta put on Gastrodon, right? Uh, Storm Drain, Leftovers, physically defensive, mainly for that Swampert. Um, like, if is especially defensive, I can take the Water Hits, and then, like, the worst thing I can do is Ice Beam. And I can probably recover those off and stall rain turns. So, physically defensive Gastrodon, Skull, Earth Power, Recover, Counter. So, there's actually some interesting stuff here. I guess Counter is the main thing, just because Counter helps me in the chance she brings Snorlax and it's like Curse Lax. I thought about bringing Clear Small, but I just don't think it does enough in this matchup. Maybe it helps against like something like Mew as well. But then there's also Stockpile. That's actually an interesting one I thought about, just because Stockpile raises your defense and special defense by one. And you only use it three times though, and I usually use like what swallow, spit up. You see it in like in-game content. But I actually think stockpile might be kind of interesting in draft league, just because you know you can just sit there, get like plus three in both defenses, and just kind of like wait for things. Especially like let's say Mega Swampert. If it's going for like power up punches, then I think like something like Earth Power can be better. Or sorry, something like um, stockpile could be better than something like counter. But oh, I've been disconnected. Uh, we don't care. We just work offline. You don't mind. That, that was interesting. But, uh, yeah. Um, uh, the second thing that's interesting about this booster is actually Earth Power. Which may not seem interesting, but the thing is... I actually thought about running both Earth Power and Earthquake at one point. Just because, yes, they're both ground-type boosts, and they kind of do the same thing. But they actually hit different mods harder. Coco is hit harder by Earth Power because it has more defense. And then Alolan Raichu is actually hurt, hit by Earthquake harder because it has very low defense compared to special defense. And then if like Alolan Raichu runs into the like, Calm Mind, Earthquake is the much better option. Same thing with Coco. So just a small thing you don't think about too much, but actually like Smoke and Sense also have that. It's like you can run your water ground type, something like Quagsire, something like uh, I think even Swampert, and then like Gastrodon. You can run like mixed sets and run like minus speed nature and then like be able to hit some like defensive mods which wouldn't take that much from earth power hit them with an earth instead so yeah i thought about it but I, again i have reasons to think that alona rachu might not come this week so i went for earth power just like alona rachu still hit, get hit hard by earth power but earthquake definitely like, gets the kill easier so i kind of traded that like immediate kill for like just better damage overall i think oh but moving on um Gartana. Again, when I mentioned in my draft breakdown, I really wanted to use this mod. I really want to use this mod. Oh. But honestly, I think like even in like standard play, like maybe not decks, but I'm thinking more like Gen 7 OU. 
Um, I think like Scarf Kartana also helped against Rain, just because like, I think it's naturally just faster than Mega Swampert under Rain. Even Jolly Swampert can't outspeed like a Scarf Kartana. But like with that and you know, the logic, that's why I'm so afraid of Floatzel, because Floatzel will outspeed it no matter what in Rain. Even if it's like Adamant Floatzel, I'm not sped. I think Floatzel is the best in one, even like faster than Alone and Raichu, right? Because they're both, both their abilities give plus two speed and Alone and Raichu is a 110 base speed, while Floatzel is 115. So I have to use a scar Scarf to outspeed it no matter what, but if it's under Rain, it's actually it's faster. Um, Scarf, Leaf Blade, Knock Off, Sacred Sword, Defog is actually my Defog user, which, I don't know, I feel like some people aren't, don't really like, I think myself included actually, don't really like, um, Choice Lock Defog users, because you can't, like, you have to switch out at that point, but I can't fit any other of my, other of my hazard removals on this team, mainly Glyscore and Charizard, because, for rain, and especially Charizard, like, Charizard loses to Electric Terrain as well, so, can't bring, like, any of that, and then, so I was like, just default card, and then standard move, Leaf Blood, Leaf Blood? <laughs> Leaf Blade, Knock Off, Sacred Sword. Uh, thought about bringing Smart Strike for um, Blair and Weezing, but I don't know if that's going to come this week. And then Eevee Spread, put it to defense, usually put something in special defense, but I think defense is fine here, and then speed is just to outspeed Jolly, Mega Swampert, in rain. But yeah, um, I'm hoping to make this my end game cleaner, but I might have to be like a mid game breaker, I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I think I'm set on this being an endgame sweeper, but who knows. Next up, Mega Main. Um, ooh, slightly faster than Tapu Koko at base speed, so that's what the EV spread's for, like speed just outspeeds um, Tapu Koko to my knowledge. But the moveset, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hidden Power, Grass, Protect. So Protect is mainly there to um, stall rain turns, hopefully he's not running Substitute Mega Swampert, because that's probably the thing that probably worried me the most. Maybe like Aqua Jet Sword Stance, Swift Swim. Is that like, yeah, like with Swift Swim, you might not want Aqua Jet, but when you're outside of raid, you probably want the priority. So that might be a worry, but I do have Intimidate. Lightning Rod's also interesting just because I might be able to switch into something like Coco once, get the electric, um, Lightning Rod uh, boost and then Mega Evolve. That could be kind of interesting. But yeah, Thunderbolt Bulls are just kind of self explanatory. So it's Hidden Power Grass. Uh, I thought about running different moves at the start of the week. I thought about running Crunch. It might be kind of weird because Mega Main's maybe a special attacker. But if Lolo and Raichu run something like a Calm Mind, I think Crunch actually does more damage. So that was an option in my, me in my uh, head at the beginning of the week. But when I was um, planning today, I was like, I could probably run Signal Beam. Like, usually you run like Overheat, right? But Signal Beam is actually an interesting tech option for Psychic types. Usually, I think in like Gen 7 Yu Yu, you saw it on like, use it to like hit um, Mega Latios and I Hydreigon, right? Because both are Dragon types, which resist Electric, but they're both hit by Signal Beam effectively. And I could hit a Lone Raichu um, super effectively, but I think it just, I just don't think it's gonna come just because, like, like, like same thing with Coco in a sense, but they both kind of suffer from like, having the, Norbin has to make a read on like, what Mons I'm bringing because Usually the, the two mod, those two mods like run their stabs and they kind of run coverage. Like if I run Gliscor, I can kind of deal with Coco unless it has HP Ice. And then I can kind of deal with Raichu unless it has like Surf or HP Ice as well. Because I'm running Bisharp, maybe alone Raichu wants to run Focus Blast, but then if it's like Thun uh, Rising Voltage, Psy Shock, Focus Blast, HP Ice, um, it doesn't hit Koopa as well. And then I can hit it with a Shadow Ball. I can still extract Sucker Punch with Bisharp, but I just have to like not switch it in, right? So, um, there's like kind of like a read of like what moves the brain. And then even like Gastrodon, right? Um, they, like both the electro types get Grass Knot, but you have to fit that in into the moveset as well. So it's kind of like, what's gonna come? Uh, what moveset do you bring on the mons that are gonna come? And I actually think because of that, Alone Raichu actually might not come this week, which might be a bad mistake on my end, but I think I'm still prepared for it. So yeah, Thunderbolt, Wolf Switch, and Empire Grass. So and I, th that was all from, I don't need single beam. So there's that. Um, Flamethrower, I could run, but it's in rain. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if this set's gonna work out, but I hope it does. Um, next up, Clef. Uh, kind of my special wall, but also a mixed wall this week, just because I think this deals with, um, Tapu Koko the best. And can also deal with a little Raichu, and kind of, like, all around. Maybe this is my, um, Lotus check, but I think Gastrodon does that well. It's kind of like a backup check to everything, and that kind of helps. That's kind of what Clef does, right? Can also be a 
Pelipper check. Does Pelipper, um, Gastro doesn't want to take Hurricanes. If it's Choice Specs Pelipper, don't want to take a Hurricane. But if it's like Scald, U Turn, Roost, Defog, then Gastrodon's fine. But, uh, Moonblast, Thunder, Southwell, Stealth Rock, Thunder, just because we are in Electric Terrain and Rain, so I can hit something like Floatzel really well, I can hit something like, uh, a lot of Raichu probably really well as well <laughs> if I want to. <laughs> and then Rocks, because I need Rocks. Um, one interesting thing about Clef is I actually thought about running Heavy Duty Boots unaware, just because I think that could have been interesting, just because said just because like twice, three times now. But it allows me to not be hit by hazards while still kind of dealing with something like set up Snorlax or set up Mew. So yeah, I think unaware could have been an interesting ability here, but I decided just to go simple with Magic Guard leftovers. And we'll see how that works in the battle. Next up, um, the mods I'm just like, I don't know about at this point. Like, I actually like didn't know what to bring at this point. It's just like, we talked about the mods I didn't bring, like Gliscor, water, right? Water types, just hard to bring, even though it kind of deals with them like a Bronzong well, deals with Coco, deals with um, Alona Raichu, but they all can run HP Ice. So it's kind of like, let's not bring it. Dragalge was an option, but then Mew and Bronzong are there, and then Mega Swampert has Earthquake, even though it may deal with something like Float so well. Like, Float can run like Ice Punch or Ice Beam, so it's kind of like. The Dragon type's okay, but it's also not okay this week. Um, Charizard, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, just no. Um, Crustle, again, like, the water types just kind of hit it hard, and then Sock has this ish same issue as Dragalge, where, like, it's hit by second types effectively, so. Maybe, like, Sturdy Sock could have been interesting, but I think I'm gonna run with the team I have. Oh uh, yeah, um, back to Hoopa, just because I wasn't sure what to bring. Um, I just think it's like special bulk, it's natural special bulk can be interesting, and then I think the ghost type stack will be very helpful. It's something like a Mew, unless it's running knockoff, but we'll see if, we'll see if um, Morgan brings knockoff on Mew. Uh, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Energy Ball mainly for the water types, it hits something like, um, like Floatzel better than, uh, what's it called? Grass Knot? And then I could also run something like Thunderbolt, but I don't think I need Thunderbolt for Pelipper, just I think, just because I think it can't hit me that hard, and I can kind of like wear it down much more than it can wear me down. So yeah, um, protect for something as a Manetric, like stalling rain, stalling electric train possibly, and then substitute. I'm not sure about substitute. I could probably run something like a Psy Shock for something like uh, I'm trying to think, Psy, Psy Shock for something like Glare and Weezing might be an issue. But I think Shadow Ball, like overall as a stab move, just hits most things except like Scrafty. But Scrafty, like I don't want this in on Scrafty, right? That's the only thing. So the substitute can be interesting there. And just like just to scout something, right? And then I thought about running Trick Room. Trick Room was also an interesting option that I thought about just because like, in rain and everything. Like if I'm in rain or I'm in electric terrain, then so, um, Trick Rooming up just allows me to be faster, which can be very nice. But don't know if it's going to be worth it, so I think Substitute might- I think, I think they're both situational here, like Substitute and Trick Room, but I kind of went for Substitute, and we'll see if it works out. And finally, Fisher. Um, kind of a retro set, I will say. Not a very set you see- um, not a very set, huh? Not a set you see, um, very often nowadays, but Assault Vest Fisher. Running max HP, max attack, I think I just need the attack push, and then I'll- I, I thought- usually- what, Bishops run max speed this generation, but I thought the HP bulk was needed. I think it helps out with Coco, even though Clef can deal with Coco, but I don't want Clef to do too, too much, even though it's like the glue. So Bishop can take a hit, go for like Iron Heads, um, Sucker Punch, knock off, knock off, knock off like Heavy Duty Boots. Also deters maybe Defog if I get Rocks up, because let's say like this helps again something like Defog Mew, uh, Defog Pelipper as well. And then what else can like remove hazards? Glare and Weezing is a big one because I am naturally faster, so Glare and Weezing can run Defog, but also has to might want to run Will O Wisp, so it kind of has to chew there. But yeah, I think Fish Sharp should be good this week. Um, knock off Pursuit, Sucker Punch, Iron Head. I don't know if I need Pursuit, cause, mainly because I think like what do I Pursuit? Mew? I'd rather knock off, and I don't think I can really Pursuit Mew because of its natural bulk. And then Sucker Punch is mainly for uh, a little wrench, right? So yeah, um. I'm hoping it's- I feel like it's gonna be another uphill battle, it's just like, this team's actually very hard to fight. It's like, Rain's hard to fight, but get, with Coco, Mew, and Alone Raichu, it becomes even harder. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's gonna be the team builder. Um, a bit shorter than the last one I recorded, so, 
I say last one, but like, this is my second take. That's what I mean. So, hey, um, I'll see you all tomorrow for the live battle. We'll see how it goes, but hey, here's hoping for the best. We're live. Um, it's Sunday, and it's about the time that we said we'd play. I play Morgan, and she seems fine. Uh, she seems nervous. I'm. I seem nervous. I just want to make sure the team is proper because I don't think I checked. Uh, Nash. No thanks. Wait, what? Have I done this wrong? It must be legacy. Hold on. And we're live. Uh, <laughs> funny thing is, I was like, oh, am I supposed to challenge an next to the legacy? And I didn't know. I think last week I was doing challenge an Axis draft, which not great, but <laughs> I think it should work out now. <laughs> uh, I think everything should be fine. Can I buy energy bolt? Yeah, okay. Because I was trying next deck. what's it called? Let me just say I'm going to challenge. But yeah, I was, try I was trying next deck's draft. <laughs> it wasn't working, so I was like, oh, oops. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm nervous, she's nervous, uh, it's about the time we said we play, so I'm probably okay with that, but yeah. Also, uh, don't expect me to dress and then button up again. I just got cold. Like, it's a beautiful day outside, but the wind is cold. Like, I'm in sweatpants right now. I was in nice pants before. Uh, oh, happy Mother's Day to anyone watching who's a mom, which I, <laughs> I feel like is none of you, but who knows? But yeah, the thing is, I was out, had a nice lunch. Uh, she says on the game up. Uh, I'll just talk and we'll see how much gets cut out. But if, uh, <laughs> if it does get cut out, I'll see you in the battle. But yeah, we, I think I had a good lunch and now I'm here. I have to do meal prepping for the work week, but... Also, please ignore the monitor. I guess it's a TV that's right here. There's a bit of stuff going on. Uh, I think if you watch the draft breakdown, even last, if you watched last week's video as well, if this wasn't here and there's like a TV that's like down there uh please ignore it <laughs> there's just a lot of like i got like a lot i didn't get uh me and my brothers were gifted a lot of new stuff in the sense that like someone was moving away and they had like stuff to give away so we got it but yeah like right now i'm using a different monitor than what i'm used to so this old tv that used to be my monitor is not my monitor anymore and i have a giant tv in the back which i have no idea where to place so i have this table for now but I don't know, I, at first I didn't like this table because it's like very heavy, but I now I kind of like the sturdiness of it. I'm just like, where do I put it? Because right now I have like the desk I'm working on, and then there's a, t there's a table on that side, like to my, to my right. And if I have three tables in my room, I guess it's basically a home office. Who knows if that's the vibe I'm going for, but yeah. I, I'm worried. Uh, what did I say was going to come again? I am assuming no Lil and Raichu, but I think Morgan had a team in mind. It might just be kind of like a standard team of hers. So Lil and Raichu might come. I forgot what she brought me last week. I can kind of check that, but I don't want to like slow down my internet too much. Just because, or I think like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like my OBS on the computer has been like lying a lot up. There we go. Lil and Raichu did come. Okay. Um, uh, who's gonna post the link? Maybe I do. YouTube. Yeah, she's surprised by the Hoopa because I don't think she expected me to bring Hoopa at all.
Yeah, no glitch card. That was the that was the big change I made, and I don't know if it's gonna work out for me, but it's kind of standard. I'll say this: this might be the same team she brought last week. Uh, if it's the same team, what the, was I expecting? I was expecting Floatzel, which means Gastrodon is okay. That might be Levitate, Glare, and Easy. Um, let me add something. I didn't realize how zoomed in this looks, but hey. What's my game plan? I'm probably starting... I thought might be offline. Okay, so we're gonna have to... <laughs> I mean, our commissioner is gonna... I'm just wondering who I want to lead with. Clef is like the easy answer, but I feel like she leads Mew. Which makes me want to lead Bisharp. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up some. I didn't import the team. Slow me down too much. Ah, oh, slow laptop. I hate myself. I looked four windows. Okay, give me a sec. I just want to see. <coughs> Excuse me. I just wanted to see how much a burn sucker punch would do to Raichu, but I guess that might come in too. Play later. Let's go Clef. I think Clef's just a solid lead, right? Because it's just a blue Coco. That's my guess. Pelper. Okay, that's fine. It U turns. I Moonblast or Rocks? Mm, rocks is the safe play, right? Let's just play, let's play it safe. I think that's the thing. I can go for like Thunder and try to kill this, but if it's like defensive. U turn. Faster makes sense because this does have higher base speed. Comfort. Yeah, that's fine. Because I, unless, my only worry is that this is, um, what's it called? Sub, but we'll see. Earthquake, makes sense. 45. I need to see that damage. Because that might mean, I'm, I'm going to pull it up. But that might mean, um, uh, did I import? I know it's frozen for you, just give it a sec. Uh, I need I need to see a damage on that. That's I'm I'm bold, right? So it's like Gastro. Okay, didn't save. Give me a sec then. I'll pull it up on the screen so you can see what I'm doing. Week two, so on to the If that's jolly, that's good to know. Yeah, that's jolly. It's not adamant damage, because it's... You can't see it, but it's, what, 41 to 48. So if he gets a crit here, I'm just kind of boned, but on the other hand... Actually, you might also see Pelipper's item here, which could be huge. Earthquake, 44, yeah. I can stall this out a bit. Because I have leftovers as well, so he needs the crit. What do I counter? Wait, give me a sec. This counter could be kind of huge, because this... What do I stop other than Swampert, right? This is just the Swampert check. What's 44 of my health? I do like a rough count. 426, 44, 4.2, 44, 120 something? Actually, doesn't it show me? 44, 72.5, so about 150. So about 200 maybe? Less than 200. Let's recover. Oh, I just want to see what he does, yeah. Okay. Now the question is, does this have, like, energy flow? Because it's very possible, right? My skull should do a lot against uh, Mew, but I kind of want to switch in Clef just to be safe. It's Clef or Bisharp. Because he's either going for, like, energy ball, or he's going for rocks himself. 
I'm going Koopa. Wait, actually, let me check the Bishop count now. Because that might be helpful to know in the long run. Right here. Yeah. Knockoff kill, sucker. What? Oh, Psychic Terrain. I don't know why Psychic Terrain does. 161 FM. Bird. That's what I don't. 80. I almost get the kill with. What's it called? Rocks. I can go cart, but then I just. I kind of want to know what his um, move is, because you're definitely like. Okay, he has energy, but that's good to know. The question now is does he have. Um, like, Aura Sphere, right? have it. It could be it's leftovers which is good to know as well. He has to know oh sorry she might have, she might know I'm a self test now. I didn't know I suck her. I like the cleft play. I wanna see if she switches out here. If that's gonna be a good indicator because I think if you have aura three you go for it. If you don't and you have it later good play but it's like I think I now I have to like kind of think like not too. I don't have to overthink that much. I think I did that with Mono, where it's like I feel like he was saving Hidden Power Grass for the longest time, but then like I think at like one point he should have shown it, but he didn't. And I was like, okay, that means he might have it, but he probably doesn't. And I still had that doubt in my mind that he didn't. So, or that he did. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is fine. So either. Sludge, Defog might be good. Defog means I can bring in Fisher, but I don't think he'd go for that knowing. Sorry, she. I'm, I'm, I'm like tired, sorry. Oh, my apologies. I'm going Hoopa. Let's see what she does. Defog. Thing is, I should be faster than Weezing. So I go for Sub here, and then I kind of want to see what her move is. What's her play with Hoopa? Koopa might be a bit annoying if you don't have rain up or like like speed. And then even yeah, Pelipper's the play. Okay. So I sub, right? I protect. I think that's my play because I want to see what she does with this. Hurricane. So she's offensive. That's good to know because that means my check is Cliff. It's not Gastrobot. And it also might help me know her item. Because usually if you're Hurricane, you're offensive, and if you're offensive, you're actually choice. You could be heavy duty boots. I think that's a good option. But I mean we'll see, right? I think she's choice. Yeah, that's not bulky damage at all. And we see no item there. Oopa. I can't count damage on a, what's it called? <laughs> on a substitute. Also, it's good to know that rain only lasted not a turn, so we know it's not um, damn Brock either. I want, oh, actually, I'm trying to count, the, well, how many turns are there? Two? I can protect here because if she doesn't switch out, it's good. I could switch, I could switch in the cleft the next turn, but if she does switch out into like Swampert, she only has one turn of rain, right? Yeah, she switches out. That's fine. Cause now it's like, what do you do? I just go Gastro. Yep, there's the earthquake. I recover stall in a sense. I can kind of recover stall earthquakes against Mega Swampert. Mew. Okay. Now I go Clef. My only worry is that she goes for Pelipper. She does have Focus Blast, so that's good to know. Oh, uh, so the Death Drop might matter? That might be a worry. Um, the thing is, because she was kind of surprised by the Koopa. Sorry, there you go. She, she, she was kind of surprised by the Koopa, so I kind of wonder if she doesn't have a move for it. I feel like she should, right? Shadow Ball seems pretty good against my team. 
Uh, I soft boiled, but she's definitely not choice lock. She's leftover, so it's kind of like, what move do you have? Psychic. Yeah, that does a lot. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this but death drops annoying. I'll put it that way. And this is kind of actually where I would prefer having signal beam here. Um, 49. Actually, let me see something. Are you? Mew's bulky just because it is a mythical, but how? Do you have bulk investment? Let's say utility. Alright, knock off. Psychic. Although this is jolly. Uh, timid. Timid psychic. I'm minus one. You have to have an investment. This might just be a max speed max attack with leftovers, which isn't terrible. 46.6 to 46. Oh, modest? So this timid. What's modest? That's modest damage. It's not the most important thing in the world to know, but it is a good thing to know. I, I still don't think I outspeed it with. I might outspeed it with Hoopa, actually. Depending on speed tiers, but. Let's do this. We're gonna go Bisharp, then clap again. I just wanna see what she does here. Energy Ball, Focus Blast, Psychic. I could sack the Bisharp, but I think it's just two. Oh, actually, what, what am I doing? Oh, I wish I could go main, but main, I need a Mega Evolve at this point. Yeah, we'll go Bisharp. If she hits the Focus Blast, good play. Oh, goes Coco. I think this gives me... Actually, here's the thing. I'm gonna predict, because we've seen three moves, I'm gonna predict this last move is Gly um, Ice Beam for Glyscore. Otherwise, you don't hit it. Angel makes sense, Focus Blast makes sense, Psychic makes sense, but then you don't hit Koopa. And that's kind of like the interesting thing about this team. It's like, I mentioned before with like, on the draft breakdown, how Glyscore... This should be fine, yeah. Specs. Okay, that's good to know. Volt Switch? Actually, I should've gone main. That would've been really cool. But, you know, main would have been cool, but the thing is, what I want to say, I mentioned before in, like, my draft breakdown how HP, I, oh, man, she went for Dazzle. That was smart. Uh, I Mega Evolve, and I can protect. I think protecting might be nice here. Actually, hmm. Well, main to go down. Main going down actually wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here. It's very useless without, because they only deal with Pelipper, but I have damage on Pelipper already. Um, let me pull. I think Volting is not a bad play here. Oh, good play. That's fine. She isn't, um, no, Swampert's intimidated. I might just go for Hidden Power. Protect could also be an interesting option here. So she wants to keep this for... Alone Raichu, right? And that's what I need the Bisharp for at this point. She might set up Rock, so that actually might be a play by her. This is the only rocker she has. It was either this. Actually, no, Mew can have it, but I think Mew with the rocks on this set would be kind of weird. It could also be recovery. I mentioned Ice Beam, but it could be recovery as well. Um. Yeah, I don't think this is rocks. I'm going for Hidden Power Grass. I'm going to get the damage on this and then we'll see what happens. Strong? Very quick. Okay, that's fine. Because now you kind of pick a sack, right? Knockoff should kill at this point, right? Heart. Actually, no, I should go for Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade always does enough here. The wheezing is going to be annoying, that's the thing. Yeah, uh, not Gastro. I wanted to see Swamper damage and Coco, because Coco doesn't have uh, its item anymore. So she can easily switch to Coco. Leaf Blade, knock kill. Ooh, knock actually might not kill. 24.6. Actually, no, it does. And top of Coco. Then she probably doesn't think I'm Scarf. It's, it's a good read to make, but you might not think it. I Leaf Blade. Even though, like, it, like, Weezing takes it, I Leaf Blade. Yeah, that's fine. Crit 27. Nice. Um, this Weezing's gonna be annoying without main, but I do have the Hoopa for it. In a sense. Mmm, trying to think. Uh, 
the damage on Swamp is good, but did I need, I mean, I might have needed the speed on main, but then the Scarcrow Tana might be a thing. Nice. I sub. It's like, she can't do anything to this, possibly. This is a free sub, and it's kind of like, hey, pick your poison. Mew, it might, it might just be staying in with this, but then I got a sub up. I kind of want leftovers here, but I needed, actually, with Protect, I should have been leftovers. I should have put it that way. Actually, no. I need more. The thing is, I put Heavy Duty Boost just in case, just in case it rocks. But here's the thing. I protect. I, I waste a turn of rain. That's the first thing I do here. Yeah, she hurricane. She might be okay letting this go. Yeah, that's fine. I got rid of rain, so that's one thing down that's threatening to the team. Oh, the only issue is gonna be this Laren losing at this point. Everything else I think I can take on. Swampert, I protect. Two turns, right? I could sack Bishop, but it's not the play either. I can go Cart. Cart actually might be an interesting play here. Protect, Earthquake, Waterfall, Earthquake. I mean, there's no point in going for Waterfall, right? How much does Earthquake do to Cart? So I'm not this paper plane set. I'm gonna get off that. Because I'm a bit more invested. Cart. Earthquake 50. I'm worried about a crit here. Uh, I can't sack this. That's the thing as well. I go Gastro. And then we kind of see from there. I'm not faster than this, probably. So... I'm gonna have to think I hit no matter what. That says the bot don't work. This is fine. If this is energy ball, I think I live with my investment. Unless it specs itself with it. The cocoa was specs, that's the thing. Alright, you. Focus plus, um, grass nuts probably stronger. Yeah. Grass nut, yeah, I live. How much base power? Oh, 60. Is this got energy ball? I don't know. Is there a way to check easily? I'm trying to think. What is it like? BT burn. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> There's a command. There, there is a command. Like, people who know what to talk about. No one to talk about, but. Man, that's it. I'll like open this Alright, you, Alola, Snow. I feel like it only gets Grass Knot, and I actually live with Grass Knot, which would be huge. And the thing is, I just need to keep my sacks alive. We're 5 5. Let's see. Grass Knot is the only thing I see. I don't see energy ball. Okay, we click, uh... Do I need... Do I need Clef? Clef might stop Mew. But then this is... This being choice, this probably has Grass Knot as well. Um, I'm trying to think, what do I need here? Yeah, because... Yeah, okay, that's fine. No, I actually like horses. This might die. Oh, never mind. I mean, it'll die next turn. It's an interesting play. I can keep this as a sack. Yeah, she might expect a switch up. It's like, what move do you go for, right? If you go for electric move, and I stay in. You go for psychic, I go for bishop. I just bring in bishop. Let's go for focus blast itself. That should be fine, yeah. See, she went for Focus Plus, that's the thing, that's the thing I was expecting. I'm like, you go for Psychic there as a neutral ground, you sacrifice coming, Bishop, Bishop comes in and I go for Sucker Punch. What's the threat now? That's my thing. What's the threat? Mew. That makes sense. It's probably... Mm, I low-key wish I had Rain here, but <laughs> I don't. 
Can I just go for damage? Do I need rocks at all? Yeah, she's gonna go for her special. Oh, and she gets it. That's annoying. Do I get it? No. Um, I think I bring in Gastro. Gastro might be the sack here, but the thing is, I kind of want Gastro for this. I don't know if this can touch this. Default, Flamethrower, Pain Split, probably Levitate, because you didn't see you find that, or Misty, Sur Misty Surf, so it actually is Levitate. Um, and then what? I guess that's the question, then what, right? I guess also the question is, at this point, if it is max... It's not Suicide Lead, let's say Stallbreaker. That actually might be a... I don't know. I need, we need, you need the special attack here. And it's modest. That's something we also know, I think, from the cleft damage. I, I like this, is, like, Mew's so hard to play around because of this, just because you don't know what it can be. Cleft, uh, Psychic. Psychic Focus Plus Energy Ball. Roost is definitely a very good option for the last move. Yeah, 35. What was that? Yeah, that was like max roll, so. She gets a crit or something here, I just lose class. 44.452.5. Yeah, I don't like those odds. I'd rather come in on something else. Koopa might deal with Galarian. Gastro could be a sack here, because this might have coverage, and it's just this. No, I think Koopa is more likely the sack. I can recover stall for learn reason, possibly, with Skull. But then the question is, at this point, if it's like, let's say it's not max HP, it could be Colbert. That could be a huge thing. No, no, it's leftovers. That's what I know. Bishop? Sucker does kill it. Actually, no, it doesn't. 70. Actually, no, it has, it's a good roll. I sack Koopa. This might not die to anything. For the power. Oh! That is huge, actually. No, this doesn't help me because. Sucker doesn't kill now. I can't protect because I don't have leftovers. What's Earth Power for? Mega Main? Sucker Burst doesn't kill, which is the annoying part here. I guess Cart kind of comes in and sweeps, in a sense. I Sucker. I can't let this accidentally get too much HP. I have to Sucker here. And if she counts it and she lives, I'm okay with her staying in, in that sense. Yeah, that's fine. Cause I get I still get an unless this is like really fast. I get the damage on this and that also might be huge. Um Glare and Reason's offensive. What's Iron Head? 53.8. It's not enough. This is hard now. This is hard because Muse owns that full. Gastrodon's fine, but if he goes, sorry, if she goes Coco, if this goes Coco, Swampert, I think Gastrodon's the play. Strange Steam, okay. That's good to know at least. Did I throw with that? I might have. Yeah, the thing is, I can't beat this down. That's the thing here. Did I throw? I think it was. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm confused. I didn't even realize the confusion. That sucks. That skull damage would have been huge. Is 
not me back at fault. It's just like I can't do anything with this. Yeah. Even with rocks up, it doesn't help me here. Uh, I think I'm lost. Trying to think this through. Sorry that I'm off the screen. There we go. This comes in. Would Beast Boots help me? No, I don't beat everything here. Oh, actually, no. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is now annoying. Specs would have definitely helped him. Sorry, helped her here. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for mispronouncing. I'm, I feel terrible about it. Specs would have helped her. Would have helped Morgan here. Stealth Rock, Salt Foil, Moonblast. What do I do here? I get the damage, right? I could Soft Foil stall these, but... Oh! This? I need that damage! Now this is annoying. Thunder? Just go for Thunder, we'll see what happens. Earth power. She's going for the defense drops. That does nothing for me. Uh, I have to soft blow, because she goes for two psychic, she kind of wins here. Okay. This is gone. Um, like, I can't complain about that, it's just how it works. <laughs> just how the game works sometimes, like, I can't complain. I'm surprised you didn't go over another psychic there. That's kind of crazy. I know why I I know why she's going for Earth Tower now. It's cause it hits everything else. Oh my god! I have to soft foil again. If she gets two pairs in a row, I just kinda lose at this point. If she went for psychic there, she won. Like not how it worked there. Energy ball. Can I stall out for the powers? Is that a thing? No, she has nine. I mean I technically can, but. Actually, you know what would be huge here? Thunder. Thunder might be huge here, because if I pair this, I have a chance. Th this is gonna take a while. I have to soft boil, just in the case she psychics and I get paralyzed. Or she psychic and get another crit, like... Oh, Swampert. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take damage here now because I can't take much from this. Or I take a lot from this, let's put it that way. Left, thunder, to yeah. I think 51, like, it's too much. I could go cart here. That would not be a bad play. Take 66. This is a risky one, because I take too much from Earthquake. Yeah. I think I knock, because she goes glare and wheezing every time, and I can get the... Yeah, I can get the Black Flood off, and that helps me out. Black, go left. She has to know I'm Scarf at this point. I don't go for Smart Strike. Thunder. Um, I thunder. If she goes back to Swampert, I actually know. If she goes back to Swampert, it's a big issue. I have Moonblast. I have to catch the Swampert. That's gonna be huge for this.
Here's the thing. I live two here technically. Is she really going for the confusion? This might be my game, so I'm gonna believe her at this. Yeah. 20. Thunder. Does, does Strange Steam kill me? And by me, I mean. Fisher. I need Strange Steve, not Sludge Bomb. Twenty-two point seven. Twenty-two point twenty-six. Does. If it's aroma, yeah, I can whittle this down now. Actually, that's. Again with my walls. <laughs> That's all I can say at this point. It's like, again, I have walls that kind of like stomp. Left. I need to like really think about what I need here. This dies to Moonblast. I don't have to go for Thunder here. Sucker Punch helps against Swampert. Against Mew as well, because she has its four attacks. She has, uh, sorry, she has to switch out on Sucker Punch. I'm gonna soft boil the once, yeah. This is fine too for me. I'm actually surprised she did that. She probably didn't calc it though. No, I'm Moonblast. If I get parrot here, I just lose. Okay, thank goodness. Cause now she goes Mew. If I got parrot. <laughs> Thing is, if this is faster, I just lose. I go for the kill here, right? I go for soft blow. If I get actually if I get paired no matter what, it just sucks. See? Yeah, okay. Crit would kill. I'm just gonna count this, because if it doesn't, I actually might just go for the kill here. Thunderbolt. Wait, what? That's it? 51.2 to 60. You can't see it, but it's 51.2 to 60.4. 60. Okay, I'll go for it. Okay. She's getting impatient. That's the thing. She could actually really listen to win this, just because I can't do enough to be new. Um, what do I do now? I soft world. Actually, if this goes down, it's not the end of the world. Let me put it that way. If I get paired here, it's not the end of the world. Fusion. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's like, man. <laughs> oh, I, I can only laugh it off. Just because, like, hey, that's how Pokemon works sometimes. And I will say she's had a lot of luck on her side, but she's actually played it really well like, going for the luck, because sometimes that's what you have to do. Um, strange. Actually, no, I don't need this. I actually need the damage with... Actually, no. No, I don't. Uh, I'm... Because I'm probably dead here, right? I'm not looking. Yeah, okay. Okay, Flamethrower. Okay, that's fine. 15%. Sucker Punch doesn't kill. I have to go for Iron Head. Actually, no, I go for Knockoff, but this is faster. I lose. So the question is, does Clef kill? Sorry, does Cart kill? Is it Cart kills here? I'm so happy I didn't go for Timid. Leaf Wave kills. I go for Leaf Wave twice. This is max. Yeah, this is max. And the lead plays being 17.9, this is 21.2. This should win. Does this kill out right? Oh, it does. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, my float was the scariest thing. That's that wheezing was terrifying though because I didn't have psychic. Excuse me. I'll put, I will put it this way though. If she had um pain split. If she had Pain Split, that would have been an issue. And also the Mew set. Scrafty. Like, this is like, I know you got, I know everyone at home can barely see this the chat, but she said that she almost wrote Scrafty over Mew. Would that have been an issue for me? Probably not, actually. I think that's, like, a good virtue I have, and I know it's kind of... it might be frowned upon a bit, but I can play very patient very well. That's the thing. If I can, if I have to sit there and just take hits, I can do that. Just because, like, with the clef and let's say Gastro on last week, like, I won't- I'll, I'll play to my out if I have to recover stall something. And, you know, sometimes what you have to do, but... Ooh, uh, let me end the video at least, just so, I don't know, I can edit it, to, like, to start editing it tonight at least, and I'll hopefully get it up by Tuesday? I think I got the last one up by Tuesday, but... I'm tired still, but thank you all for watching. Uh, that was a crazy match, just cause we were- uh, Again, I don't know if I threw at one point, but... I think with how I played until like turn 30, let's say. Actually, I'm gonna download this, just in case. Actually, no, not download, I meant upload. That's stupid of me. There we go. I mean, she left, everyone else left, but... I mean, what can I say? That was crazy. Because at one point, I think she was gonna win, but then her not having pain split, I think it actually cost her. Or it's Roost. Like, if there was... I think if the Mew wasn't four attacks, that's the thing. If the Mew wasn't four attacks, I would win. I'd lose. Nasty Plot, she's talking a lot about Nasty Plot, and I think that's a really good set. Nasty Plot, or even Sword Stand. Sword Stand's Gunk Shot, I think that's a set Mew can run. I think, I think it's Gunk Shot. But when they hit Clef, um, and it's something that just like puts either puts in power or sits there better than just leftovers. I think that's the play she had to. That's the ring she had to do. Or pain split on Weezing, because at that point, then I have to play Clef low. Otherwise, I heal Weezing. Because I play the Clef low, she can do what she did in the game, like Strange Stream, Strange Steam. I think Strange Steam like confuse me. Steve. But yeah, um, let me leave it there. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm gonna say this again once, just because I know it was like in the in the battle mindset. I'm sorry for mispronouncing you, Morgan. I did not mean that uh, at all. Just I don't know. It was just like it just slips out the tongue, and I really apologize for that. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Next week I think we face Jonah, so that's gonna be an interesting match. Cause I don't think he's played his week two matchups, but he did actually lose week one to our opponent, Morgan. So. We'll see how we do against him, and yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, thank you all for watching. I don't know, shameless plug again. Leave, like, subscribe, comment. Just let me know if this is okay. If you don't mind the long battles, I do. I have thought about cutting them down, but I think getting the full battle is good. So I don't know. Just leave it all in the background. Don't try to focus too much on it. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.